Now, now we are coming to the next. See, before I go there, what do you see on this slide? There is a one person. <laughs> yeah, there is one person who is. And that is different language, I guess. Yeah, he is using a different language. It doesn't even look like English, right? Can can somebody identify this fellow? Um, we have seen him, but we can't even remember. <laughs> okay, no worries, no worries. I mean, I think uh, more students of English literature would identify him uh, easily. This is uh, Shashi Tharoor. Okay, I'm sure now you remember. Shashi Tharoor is uh, known for the kind of uh, rich vocabulary and subtle English that he uses everywhere. Okay, and sometimes, I, I think more often than not, people do not understand him simply because of the richness of his vocabulary. ओके okay, जो शब्द ये यूज करते हैं उसके लिए हमको बार बार डिक्शनरी खोलने की जरूरत पड़ती है ओके सो नाउ आई एम श्योर यू कैन गेस व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट थिंग आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इज क्लैरिटी ओके क्लैरिटी हाउ टू अचीव क्लैरिटी इन कम्युनिकेशन एंड दिस हैज आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू टेल यू दैट इट हैज ओनली टू डू विद वोकेबुलरी क्लैरिटी एट मेनी लेवल आप कैसे कम्युनिकेट करते हो लोगों को समझता है कि नहीं ओके okay? वो आपके स्पीच में भी आता है हाउ डू यू इनाउंसिएट आपके लैंग्वेज आपके आप जब मुंह खोलते हैं बात करने के लिए तो क्या सामने वाले को समझ में आ रहा है कैसे नहीं आता है क्यों नहीं आता है दिस इज वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस आप ड्राफ्ट करते हो तो क्लैरिटी क्यों नहीं होता है एंड सो मेनी वेज इन विच वी आर नॉट वेरी क्लियर मेनी टाइम्स इट हैपन्स दैट वी आर नॉट क्लियर सो चूज प्रिसाइज कॉन्क्रीट एंड फेमिलियर वर्ड या बाय द वे लुक एट दी इंटरेस्टिंग कोटेशन ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड Uh, if you have read Harari, you will know uh, how uh, how it is important that we take this up seriously. In a world deluged by irrelevant information, clarity is power. Simple as that. Today we are bombarded with so much information and false information, fake news, and isn't it? And if you check for one subject on Google, the so one topic. If you are looking for one topic. i mean there are millions of links that open up and you really do not know which one is true and which one is the right kind of information that you have to select so it is very important that you be clear if you are not clear then i mean you will have a, a lot of uh, difficulties so how do you become clear understanding the audience is one important thing if you understand the audience if you know who you are talking to and if you understand the kind of language that would be easier for the other person to understand it would be easier for both of you to choose the kind those kind of words that will be familiar i'm sure you must have heard of something called as jargons have you heard of jargons yes ma'am yes ma'am yeah. yes so yes. what is a jargon yeah what is a jargon <laughs> jargon no, itself is hard but we don't know yeah you have heard this word but you do no, not know the meaning technical words technical yeah. words. jargons are technical words used by people belonging to a particular field like doctors medical use medical jargon and lawyers use uh, legal expressions that we may not be familiar with simply because of that try to avoid the use of jargon as much as possible so if you see on look on the left hand side these are the kind of unfamiliar and i call them pretentious also a word which may sound very high you know which which through which people want to convey that you know they have they are so learned and uh, you know they are very good at uh, using high sounding words which but then will not have the same kind of effect which is expected so if you come across these words and if where possible not it's not possible always because certain fields require you a different uh, require that you use a different kind of vocabulary uh, like if you are writing a research paper or if you are thinking about research and such such academic work then you you are bound to use that kind of vocabulary but otherwise but otherwise see to it that you do not use unfamiliar word which could be difficult for people to understand now see when you when you in a face to face interaction you can easily understand कि वो सामने वालों को समझ में आ रहा है नहीं है तो आप इमीडिएटली स्विच करते हो ना हम सब करते हो बट अदरवाइज देन यू आर ड्राफ्टिंग समथिंग एंड मेलिंग इट देन सी टू इट दैट यू कीप थिंग्स सिंपल वेर एवर पॉसिबल एंड नॉट जस्ट दैट व्हेन यू आर मेकिंग सेंटेंसेस एंड पैराग्राफ्स दिस इज वन थिंग दैट 
is a big problem with the students uh, when we assess papers we come across this issue when students construct paragraphs uh, okay by the way why do we write in paragraph to say it properly to understand the, what we are going to say about the th matter okay uh the, okay this uh, boy says that this is because we uh, can understand matter properly any other reason ma'am paragraph yes. makes sense the uh, makes the thing clear short mm -hmm. uh, so that okay, the so person all... can understand easily okay again you are trying to tell me that paragraph mein likhne se we understand better we understand better any other reason why we write in paragraphs yes student okay now that because we have uh, the limitations of time i'll tell you the reason why we write in paragraphs when we construct something when we draft something when we are writing something we write in paragraphs when we switch from one particular idea to the other as we are developing हम जब लिखते जाते हैं ऑल दो वी आर स्टिकिंग टू द मेन थीम द थीसिस मेन आइडिया ऑफ द एंटायर एसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल और द एंटायर लेटर लेकिन जैसे ही हमारा आइडिया स्विच होता है हम पैरा बनाते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप सबको ये तो पता होगा कि आप एप्लीकेशन लेटर लिखते हैं कॉलेज में राइट वेन यू राइट दिस एप्लीकेशन लेटर हाउ डू यू बिगिन यू बिगिन विद एन इंट्रोडक्शन राइट देन यू मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ वेयर यू डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम इन डिटेल एंड देन टूवर्ड्स द एंड यू क्लोज with a um, complimentary close and you uh, say thank you for whatever it is that you write in the third paragraph so what are we essentially doing here we are developing ideas so as we develop ideas there is a switch from one idea to the other we switch paragraph okay mere college mein bachcho ko jab bhi ek question mein puchti hu to some of them come up with some interesting answers like this madam paragraph mein uh, draft bahut sundar dikhta hai <laughs> so i have got all kinds of answers from students okay so do understand that when we write when we draft something we write in paragraph because we are developing ideas and as we develop we switch from one idea to the other we make different paragraph and it is essential that when we make paragraph we understand that there is this flow a natural flow and coherence coherence matlab ek paragraph aur dusra paragraph ke beech mein connection hona chahiye और वो कनेक्शन जहां नहीं आता है वहां बहुत सारे क्लैरिटी का इश्यूज आता है आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैट हियर बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी आल्सो टेल यू अ स्मॉल एक्सरसाइज हियर ऑन द स्क्रीन द सेंटेंस लेंथ यूनिटी कोहेरेंस एंड एम्फेसिस मैटर अब कितना लंबा सेंटेंस लिखते हो और वो सेंटेंस में कितने सारे क्लॉजेस है और उसका लेंथ क्या है और इतना तुम बढ़ाते जितना कॉम्प्लेक्स बनाते जाते हो उतना क्लैरिटी कम होता जाता है ओके सो विल यू बी गुड इनाफ टू मीट द मैनेजर में अननेसेसरी डिटेल्स को आप एलिमिनेट करो सो यू कैन सिंपली राइट प्लीज मीट द मैनेजर ही अकम्पलिश द जॉब विथ ईज बोलने की जगह पे ही डिड द जॉब वेल ओके इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग वेरी हाई साउंडिंग ऑफ फ्लावरी लैंग्वेज यू कैन मेक इट वेरी सिंपल ही लोकेटेड द जॉब एंड यू कैन सिंपली से ही फाउंड द जॉब सो आई एम कमिंग टू दी अर्लियर पार्ट हियर फोकस ऑन वन आइडिया इन अ पैराग्राफ एक पैराग्राफ में एक आइडिया को आपको develop karna hai and as soon as that is over we move to the next part you see to it that there is a connection between the first paragraph and the second paragraph this is why i have given you a few example on the screen examples as you see if say for example if you are going to add something to the second paragraph okay uh, to the first paragraph by giving the second paragraph you will use the words like this furthermore in addition to also ye sab aap bologe first paragraph second paragraph mein connection aata hai फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आप फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ में किसी प्रॉब्लम को इंट्रोड्यूस कर रहे हो और सेकेंड पैराग्राफ में उसका इलास्ट्रेशन दे रहे हो ये प्रॉब्लम ऐसे दिखता है तो यू विल से फॉर इंस्टेंस ओके टूडे पीपल आर बिकमिंग मोर एंड मोर अनसिविल ऑन द सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म ओके एंड देन वेन आई एक्सप्लेन दैट इन द सेकेंड पैराग्राफ आई विल राइट फॉर इंस्टेंस सो मेनी पीपल और द परसेंटेज ऑफ पीपल एक्चुअली अब्यूज Uh, have been found to be abusive on social media platforms so, let me example the illustration there you so i am going to connect that first paragraph with the second paragraph samajh me aa raha hai ye hamesha dhyan mein rakhna whenever you are drafting aapke paragraph ke beech mein connection hona chahiye ekdam totally disconnected isolated nahi hona chahiye 
आप कुछ एम्फोसाइज करने जा रहे हो आप बोलोगे स्पेशली ओके सर्टनली इंडीड ये एक्सप्रेशन आपको काम आएंगे एंड दीज आर वेरी इजी टू फाइंड दिस डेज बिकॉज यू रियली डोंट नीड एनी एनी बडी टू टेल यू दिस यू जस्ट गूगल इट एंड यू यू कैन लुक एट दिस यू जस्ट हैव टू टाइप कनेक्टर्स इन इंग्लिश एंड यू विल फाइंड दिस थिंग्स आपको क्या एक्चुअली बताना है उससे आप, आपको पता चलेगा कौन सा कनेक्टर कहाँ पे यूज करेंगे तो द फ्लो विल बी वेरी स्मूथ एंड इट विल नॉट बी डिस कोई सो तो नहीं गया सो भी गए होंगे बिकॉज अटेंशन स्पैन का भी प्रॉब्लम है कीर्ति बच्चों को 45 मिनट्स लेक्चर में ही पूरा एकदम ना इंटरेस्टेड रखना ही चैलेंज है तो इतने देर तक ये लोग सुनेंगे क्या माई सजेशन ऑफ बींग काइंड वेरी सीरियसली चीज बींग काइंड हाँ हाँ कोई कुछ पूछ रहा था ये स्पीकर विच इज इम्पोर्टेंट and i had it this had this lecture been a physical offline uh, class i'm sure i would have enjoyed it thoroughly also seeing your smiling faces which matters seriously matters as human beings there is a reason why we have our eyes in the front of our skull you know so that we can actually interact <laughs> looking at each other yeah so examples of clarity in written communication a few more examples here on screen in response to your request it's a long winding examples matlab uh, sentences nahi banaye in response to your request it gives me great pleasure to send the information which please find and close and which i hope will be a resistance to your customers it's 29 words simple sa baat hai i hope your customers will find the enclosed information useful see to it that you are coming directly to the point of course but not at the cost of being uh, rude or anything but coming directly to the point so that the other person is not distracted uska time waste nahi ho pura read karne mein kabhi kabhi aisa hota hai na you are reading and then you have to go all the way back to the first paragraph to make try to make sense are ye kya bata raha hai you don't do that and this is not always possible especially in oral communication may not be always possible but when it comes to drafting writing or writing an email and all you have time and especially if you have time then take it Uh, consider it and seriously and draft accordingly. Edit करो। आपके हम सब करते हैं। We all do that. We teachers also do it. हम draft करते हैं। At one go हम लोग okay नहीं करते हैं। We rewrite and re-edit and you try to use better words and make it simple and understandable and things like that. There are several proposals made by the party concerned, which we hope will receive your careful study and consideration before you finally arrive at a decision. My God. what is he trying she trying or he or she trying to tell we hope you will examine the proposal made by the party before arriving at a decision it is as simple as that okay so clarity also means conciseness which she will find some of the ideas overlapping here you know because when i talk about uh, courtesy and consideration later on you will find that there is something common between the two so of course we are looking at the essence of the whole thing you know we are not looking at it's not like mathematics so the essence yeah you can do this uh, it's very simple i'll give you a small tip you know which by the way i came across and i was doing my phd uh, difficult words ki jagah aapko simple words use karne hai better words use karne hai contextual words use karne hai to go to this website i'll type it out here for you uh, just a second no huh? so i why am i typing it out you know because when you look at it you'll remember better have you heard of this site no yeah, ma'am please note it down ha ye kidhar ja raha hai ek second ha yeah rhymezone.com it's a single word actually rhymezone 
प्राइम जोन डॉट कॉम में आप जाएंगे ना तो इतना ब्यूटिफुल रिसोर्स है ये वहां जाके आपको स्पेशली दिस सी दिस साइट इज एक्चुअली मेंट फॉर राइटर्स यू नो जो लोग कथा कविता अच्छा यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दिस वंडरफुल so if you start using this at the right age no because uh, unfortunately we never knew of these things we always used the dictionary and that is you know it is time consuming and not that easy to use so rhymezone.com mein aap chale jaiye wahan pe aapko bahut sare options hai if you want to use descriptive words if you want to use words which are uh, opposite in meaning if you want to use synonyms uh, antonyms bahut sare hai so if you are drafting something and you want to use the right word in the right place it you click on that word and it will also give you the examples and meanings of the word more meanings of the word it's a wonderful resource zarur wah abhi mat dekhna okay rhymezone.com mein jaiye aur jab bhi aap kuch draft karenge dekhna aapko bahut acche acche words milenge use karne ke and once you get into uh, you know the habit of using these words of course it comes to you naturally so if you look at the left hand the words on the left hand side this is on the right hand side is a simpler version of the same word okay i will be sharing this ppt with your professor so you can of course um, check this up in detail later on yeah look at redundant expression for redundancy ka matlab hai again you know unnecessarily aap repeat karte ho words ko so you end up using words because they have been used by other people for a you know a long time like cliches cliches are words like that so little by little and gradually mean the same thing so drop the gradually small in size small is itself size 350 pm in the afternoon you have pm over there you don't need to write in the afternoon revert back is one thing that i always find in my mail revert itself means coming back reverting means giving back replying you don't need to do that so these are some of the examples that you can go through okay free gift again yeah now i'm coming to talk about a very funny section here Uh, which is how clarity is lost in translation many a times people say something and you assume something entirely different because of the kind of uh, words they use now this has personally happened to me you know kandivli post office do not spit stamps can you guess what this could be actually about can you guess as to what do not spit stamps might mean stamps thunku naka <laughs> if you translate that in marathi i know you will not be able to because even i could not is you it not? stick is it stick runa stick stamps no actually they want to say what they actually wanted to say is you know this is what happens when you directly translate you know maybe probably using google <laughs> translate also and the meaning is lost they wanted to say that use glue to stick the stamp oh my not god <laughs> uh, instead of saying that they could have even put a message like do not lick stamp but they did not find the right word probably the translator there okay, the one who okay. was okay <laughs> ha <laughs> this happened to me kandivli mein gayi aur ye udhar itna bada sa ek notice chipkaya hua tha ki do not spit stamp ye sochi bhai ye kya hai to puchne pe pata chala ki wo bol rahe ki aap lick mat karo wahan pe glue ka dabba rakha hai to glue laga ke stamp ko stick karo ये बोलने के इन्होंने ने बोला डू नॉट स्पिट स्टैंड हाउ फनी है ना एंड टुडे व्हेन आई कम टू थिंक ऑफ इट इट मेक्स मी रियली नो लाफ एंड इट इज सो इंडीड वेरी वेरी फनी सो ट्रांसलेशन में यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल एंड समटाइम्स इवन गूगल ट्रांसलेट डजेंट हेल्प यू सो यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल नाउ दिस इज समथिंग आई हैव सीन एवरीवेयर इन मुंबई इवन ऑन द डोर स्टेप्स ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन आई हैव फाउंड पीपल रिटर्न दिस ऑन नोटिस बोर्ड्स एंड प्लेसेस What is the error there? Can you tell me, ma'am? That uh, dash. Ha. Actually, well and come are not two different words. There is only one word, welcome. And when you say welcome, there is no hyphen in between. But no, here after when you go around, just check this. Ah, huh? I do not know. Maybe you have already seen this in some places. So even आपके जो ऐसे ये आते हैं ना door door mats आते हैं, वो भी door mats पे भी ये कॉमन एरर दिखता है आपको वेल यू कैन कम नाउ वेल सो एंड ऑफ कोर्स ग्लोर एग्जांपल्स दैट यू कैन फाइंड ऑन गूगल व्हिच टेल अबाउट हाउ लैंग्वेज कैन बी सो फनी सो वेरी फनी इफ यू डोंट टेक इट 
um if you don't understand the meaning of words the clarity is completely lost in translation now look at what happened in norway ladies are requested not to have children in the bar now you know what they mean they don't bring your children into the bar please do not feed the animals if you have any suitable food give it to the guard on duty how insulting the manager has personally passed all the water served here here i better not comment i'm sure you have understood yeah now when it comes to correctness i'm sure you all of you are very careful when you uh, draft something uh, you check for the accuracy of words and today it has become easier because of uh, all the internet uh, uh, you know resources that you have you don't really have to ask your neighbor you don't have to even ask your teacher when you're drafting something if you find some pronunciation that you do not know of words you just go on youtube and write the word and youtube will tell you how to pronounce the word correctly and if you're checking for facts and things one thing is if you're checking online you have to find the right resource because because there's so much data online you do not know which is authentic and which is not so facts and figures and if someone is asking if you're drafting something and you do not know and if you're not sure if you've got all the uh, things right if possible give it to the other person someone else to read it it will always help you and we do that all the time you know believe me we teachers also do it हम जब कुछ ड्राफ्ट करते हैं तो हम अपने कॉलिग्स को बोलते हैं जरा देखो ना कि कुछ आ, कुछ एरर तो नहीं है कुछ छूट छूट तो नहीं गया कुछ हमको नहीं जो हमको नहीं दिखता वो तो दूसरों को दिखता है जरूर दिखता है एंड स्पेशली मिस्टेक्स ये वेरी गुड एट फाइंडिंग आउट मिस्टेक्स एज अ स्पीसीज ओके सो बिफोर यू हिट दैट इंटर बटन डबल चेक ऑलवेज डबल चेक वेर एवर पॉसिबल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड नाउ दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई कैन कॉज जस्ट दिस टू रीड दिस एंड टेल मी वॉट यू मेक center i found this on a dentist uh, office in an, in a dentist office put out there on a big board this is what i read can you make sense of this and this happened in my neighborhood huh? i i literally came back because this was a new dentist in my area i wanted to go to him and this is what i found on his board why it is important that you need to be correct can you really make any sense fixed teeth in one day with implant come in morning with not teeth go in evening with all fixed teeth what is what is the what is the dentist trying to tell so does it affect the credibility of the individual it definitely does so if you are going to have a doctor put up on office company sorry i'm uh, sorry i'm not able to hear you clearly your voice is breaking uh, I think the dental is trying to say that duration office. He is uh, saying that he ah. will this dental office will be opening at morning and he will ah. be closing at evening. Ha. Ah. And he is trying to tell that you know if you come with a problem in the morning, it will be solved by evening. The two things the person is actually trying to tell you. That is also I mean I do not know that is how I interpret because actually if you check the sentence, there is no uh, grammatical structure to it, isn't it? So this is how. why it is so important that when you draft something understand that it also affects the credibility of your uh, job you as an individual you will lose your credibility people will not come to you simply so get it edit edit and then edit some more find that okay and then we are coming to 